customers want to be able to operate their pumps outside of the design envelope. It's whatever the demands of the plant require, and they will operate these pumps in ways that, that were never envisioned. The computational tool, tools that we have available today in the company are for sure the necessary instrument to reach more severe limit for application on the high demanding pumps. With 3D modeling and CFD, finite element modeling and so on, we can actually look at these design conditions in detail. We can actually model them and uh, predict what types of uh, vibration perhaps or, or stresses or instabilities in the flow that uh, may, may be happening. We are looking forward to a better fluid dynamic design in order to reduce by 30% and more the weight of the pump and extend the mean time between failure to achieve a longer expected life of the pump. The real advantage of 3D modeling is that you can check your assemblies, you can take any 3D model and put all of the loads on it, get stresses, deflection, vibration information, natural frequencies, um, determine if you're going to have certain field problems in advance and then you can make modifications of that model and see how you've improved it. All the vertical pumps that we design in our facility, uh, we conduct a read frequency analysis using rotor dynamics and a finite element analysis, uh, which confirms that no problem of that nature is going to happen on a site. That is one of the best things we can do for our customers. Mechatronics uh, is really uh, kind of defined as a uh, synergistic integration of a number of different technologies. And these include things like electrical, electronic engineering, mechanical engineering, sensor technologies, computer technologies, and actuation technologies. We as pump manufacturers know how the pump works really, really well. So people have tremendous experience in the industry to diagnose pump problems. With mechatronic systems, what we are trying to do is capture their uh, diagnosis ability or capability to uh, detect problems. We want to actually be able to embed the intelligence directly on our equipment such that the pump itself would monitor its own condition such that you will not have to go out and collect raw vibration data, for instance, from that piece of equipment. The piece of equipment can gather the, its own data, run its own diagnostic and prognostic algorithms, and give you information about the status of that piece of equipment. So, end of the day, you know, you come back to saying, what do I need to do all these things? I need to be able to monitor, gather, and collect data, which goes to the heart of the mechatronic system, which is instrumentation, and be the ability to collect data and interpret data to, to the customer's benefit. FlowServe is, is a company that combines uh, a number of different uh, heritage pump companies that has, has brought to the table various approaches to engineering problems, to the use of materials and coatings. We're focusing today uh, particularly on several different types of uh, coatings and surface treatments, including weld overlays. Specifically, we're looking at various types of coatings that can be applied using a laser, including a tungsten carbide, which we believe offers considerable opportunities for the future. There's a variety of surface treatments. Uh, plasma coatings is probably some of the newest ones where people are generating plasma uh, gases so we can coat internal passages. In the coating area, there's a lot of developments going on. And, and the HVOF, or high velocity oxy fuel type uh, process. Suppliers now are making nano size uh, powders, which gives us a uh, much better coating, a denser coating, less porosity, and that provides more benefit for wear resistance and corrosion resistance. A particular success that we've had in recent years has been uh, a material that we developed and patented in several countries known as x -Cavaloy. This is a unique stainless steel developed specifically for cavitation resistance. It's an austenitic type chrome manganese stainless steel that has cavitation resistance far better than uh, all conventional materials that are used for uh, pump components. We're currently looking at materials and processes 
uh, from various sources that are not currently being used, but we think with the right modification or improvement would represent something that would allow us to offer a better product suited for very severe applications five or ten years from now. These technology tools will help us step by step to be one step ahead of our competition. You're trying to improve the reliability of the total pump package, seals and pumps, and you're also trying to improve the efficiency of the pump. So that gives a, a cost reduction for the customer. We have a large group of uh, engineers uh, and uh, advanced level engineers in our technology team that I think are some of the best people in the world. They're recognized by many of the uh, industries. They participate on committees. They participate in councils. We drive uh, many of the standards that you see as industrial standards. Uh, so our people are the kind that uh, not only work for FlowServe, but they actually support the industry. There's no engineer here that has to go it alone. He can call up an expert and get advice any day of the week. It's, it's great. It's great to be surrounded by experts from all over the world. The uh, interactions with the people from different culture, different uh, educational background, a different interest is very stimulating and will permit to synthesize the best approach for the best objective. Customers uh, see us as a solutions provider. They need uh, someone that can solve the problems that they have, and sometimes someone that can offer solutions to issues that they don't even know they have. Uh, the only way to do that is being a leader in technology.